csharp.net is one of the popular programming language used for nx open customization and programming have you ever wondered which topics to learn from c sharp from where to learn the c sharp topics how to learn c sharp and all of these questions are still unanswered to you then this video is meant for you let me show you the obvious steps you as a learner take to learn c sharp programming you usually go to google and try to find out the courses relevant to c sharp and here as c sharp is a popular program programming language and it is not just used for nx open customization and programming but it is widely used for any other developments as well for example web development app development game development and even for machine learning so you will find lot of options for the course that you are looking for uh, ranging from different science sites including microsoft uh, site itself you will find uh, the tutorials courses related to c sharp you will also find the courses which are offered free of cost and also courses which are charging you a money you will also find the courses which are extensive as extensive as 8 to 9 hours or you will also find the courses which is 1 uh, hour or even 2 hours of uh, learning content because of all these options that you find very easily on internet it is obvious to happen if it is obvious to happen bound to happen that you will get confused which one to go through and even if you decide to go through any of this one and you have you are done with uh, you are halfway done still you will not feel comfortable still will not feel confident about whatever you have learned in c sharp there is one reason behind this the reason is you are learning c sharp with the context of software development you are learning c sharp with the context of software engineering if you keep learning uh, same as any it engineer any software engineer then getting into the confusion not feeling confident about whatever you have learned you will definitely not going to progress well on your journey and still if you are learning if you are progressing you will feel disconnect with the whatever domain you are learning it for for example you are learning it for nx open customization and programming but when you are learning c sharp you are mainly learning with the examples exercises topics related to it and software development so you will feel as a mechanical engineer you are you are learning related to c sharp is not really connected with the domain that you are into but you do not need to worry about it because here i am with a solution to the exact problem i can tell you the exact road map that you can follow for learning c sharp which is exactly relevant for nx open programming so let's get started i will tell you the exact topics that you should learn from c sharp and i will also tell you which are the topics that you can ignore from learning so let's get started the step number 1 on your red road map is learning fundamentals you should focus on learning basic syntaxes for c sharp variables and data types as well as methods your step 2 will be learning about the functions related to decision making 
here there are conditional for example if statement switch statement and loop including for each loop and even while loop your step 3 will be going further all uh, as far as it uh, going going further with type conversion here i am talking about the data types conversion from one type to another type uh, of course then operators operators do play a important role while developing a logic classes as well as access modifiers here i am talking about private and public methods and you go deeper you go into the more details you will learn about strings this is also one of the data type but this is something very important to focus at as well as you will learn about array which is nothing but collection of the same kind of object and enumerations once you done with the step number 4 five is going to be the collections there are two type of collections that you can go through list and dictionary but when you go through all these topics you don't need to forgot you shall not forgot uh, forgot ab about these two important topics you must also understand and learn the programming base practices along the way also you must learn the exception handling this will teach you how to tackle the errors how to resolve those errors how to find out the root root cause for those errors and if you are done with this seven steps you are good to go with getting into the learning of nx open programming or nx open apis i would say the other topics which are in c sharp dot net those are still relevant still important but you can ignore them uh, for now i would suggest that you can ignore them for at least 6 months you start off you finish this all topics in let's say let's say in around one month and you focus rest five months on learning the nx open apis and once you feel comfortable about c sharp as well as nx open apis then that is a time probably after 6 months to get into the more detailed topics advanced topics of c sharp dot net and those topics could be object oriented programming lambdas link generics member modifiers asynchronous programming but again you don't need to learn everything from all these topics which uh, i have mentioned here uh, mainly these ones you you need you do uh, you did not need all of them together but it is good Uh, and it is recommended that you go through all of this and at least understand the concept related to these topics because this can help you uh, further in your in your career now where can you find these topics to learn the easiest way i would suggest is that you go to the microsoft site and try to search for these topics one to one and you will get the learning tutorials on these topics but again those topics those examples those are covered along with these topics are going to be generic one which are more relevant for a software development point of view but if you want to learn c sharp topics in context to nx open programming and customization and you would like to learn it with the nx open examples exercises journals then i recommend you to join my course which is called c sharp essentials for nx open customization and programming here i have not just covered all the important topics of c sharp but i have covered all those to topics of c sharp using uh, the nx open examples so you learn these topics with uh, with the very relevant examples for for you link to join this course is given into the description box if you are already enrolled into my program and you are watching the first video of this program then i wish you best of luck uh, on your learning journey and uh, that's it happy learning good to see you hey 
submit your personal NX Open Learning Assistant. This is go to expert resource for mastering NX Open customization. He has learned from resource guides as well as learning documents made available by development team of NX Open from Siemens itself. You can get your answers, even guidance and a code snippet instantly from this assistant. So why are you waiting for? Say hello to your new engineering friend. Unlock the power of NX Open with NX Open Learning Assistant. Try it now. Uh, if you like this video then definitely please uh, hit that like button and if you want if you wanted to receive such video updates from me then please do subscribe to my channel as well thank you for now see you bye bye